Brought to you by the famous Mumpy Bear. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. Tonight is about to be a special edition of Fanfix, live on stream. Tonight we'll be doing Persona 4, or well, Persona in general. Get your dicks out, start rubbing there for JJ. It's gonna get hot. <laughs> <laughs> My body is ready. <laughs> Let's do this. Somebody start. <laughs> <laughs> Get a okay, character fine. first. Well, how are we doing this? Do you want like do? Are we going to like each take a part, or does one person I mean, just read the entire thing? No, one bro, person can. Do it. I like you doing parts. Stay. One one. Let's do, let's do yeah. Let's do parts. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then well, this is perfect. We need three people for this. One person to be the narrator. One person to be the creepy. Who wants to be the narrator? I'll be Teddy. I'll be. I'll be Teddy. I call him on Teddy. Dude, or whatever. What what is it? I'll be the creepy He's, guy. Okay. I can be the. I can do the narrating. Yeah, okay, Jimmy is creepy guy and Mumpy is narrator. Oh, I hit him first. Okay. Got that advantage. Right. I should probably open up the fan fiction. Hold on. I just had a link on there. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Start no, whatever. Don't leave. All right. Not tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. I don't know if Alex is ready. Alex, are you ready? I am ready. Introducing for my, my sensei. sensei. Oh, sorry. You go. By Sparrow. <laughs> You're the narrator. For my sensei. By Sparrow. <laughs> Having a little trouble with this that? This is a fan fiction rated M. It's in English. The genre is hurt, comfort, tragedy. Starring Teddy, Soji, <laughs> and you. And you. Mm. Darkness laced with confusion, silence broken by heavy breathing, triggered by fear. Can I help you? God, this bad the man's voice came too. from a corner in the corner of the room and Teddy squinted his eyes to try and see if he could make out something, anything. Yet there was only more darkness. Help me? He oh. repeated, straining to move only to, to discover that he was bound, helpless. That's correct. The voice came from a different part of the room this time, yet Teddy hadn't even heard the footsteps. For you do know that you are here, that you are the weakest link, right? Although there was no eye contact, Teddy's eyes dropped towards the direction of the floor. You are only causing problems for your leader. His head shot up at the title, at the title as the familiar face popped into his mind. Sensei. Yes. He whispered. Oh, Your sensei. Sensei. Wow. He pities you. I hope that you have come to realize this. You only have their friendship because they feel sorry for you, but. Fingered it. Fingers entered his hair out of nowhere, and he shivered as they ran down his neck. I can help you. Teddy's mind was having trouble digesting the words at first, running then over until he completed the loop before he swallowed and whispered. <laughs> How? He could almost hear the smile radiating off the man's lips. I will make you stronger. His breath tickled Teddy's ear. Once we are finished here, there will be nothing that you can't handle. You must trust me. Though it might not seem like it at first. But everything I do will make things better for your... Sensei. <laughs> the last word was... <laughs> the last word was almost a sneer. But Teddy didn't notice. More focus on the words than the tone. Okay. He whispered, biting back the fear that was creeping, as a hand started to run down his shirt. I'll do it. Are you sure? The hand was getting dangerously low, and Teddy wanted to wriggle <laughs> away, but he was stuck. A okay, was so I know Teddy places. has. Hold on. What? I I, I want to say Teddy has two forms, like one's a human, and one's like the bear. I like I can Immersion only imagine lost. this in the bear. <laughs> In the bear yeah, this form. Is bear form. This, is, this is this has to be bear form. This Immersion lost. Yeah. Immersion breaking experience. 
<laughs> a shiver was running down the base of his spine. Oh, and he shit. tried to suppress it. The best he could do. The best he could be. What? It's the best he could be. He was sure that the other man could feel it. With their bodies being so close and with his hands all over his body, there was no way that he couldn't feel every little movement that Teddy made. Yes. He said, trying to keep his voice from shaking. But it was of no use as he as it quivered. <coughs> I will do it. He oh, took a deep yeah, breath. Pausing for a moment, trying to build some kind of composure before speaking once. Or my sensei. Chapter two. No. <laughs> <laughs> it gets. It only goes downhill from here. So I can imagine. Yeah. Okay. It felt strange being touched like this. Fingers feeling places that not even he had felt. He squirmed unintentionally, whimpering as he did so. He didn't like it. The more the touching continued, the more painful it started to get. No. <laughs> he wanted to scream. Stop. He wanted it all to end as the discomfort and pain grew, and the fingers became more intimate. But I scream exited. A scream exited his lips as pain ricocheted through his body. The sounds echoed and filled the corners of the small room. Tears streamed ah! down his cheeks. <laughs> he, wished <laughs> he wished that he could do something to break free from this man, or at least silence himself. But he was beyond that line. It was stupid. He was experiencing something that he didn't even know what it was called. When it was over with, he curled up into a ball and sobbed. Even over the whole Hear that man snort. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. My snort broke Randall's uh, emulator. <laughs> I was doing so good, too. Thanks, no wonder you are the weakest. I could play Persona 1, but I don't he want to. In the stomach with his toe. You cry like a baby when you should be a man. <laughs> he snorted again. <laughs> and stood up straight and turned to walk out the door. Oh, I guess we're doing that again. Oh, fuck, that's loud. Sorry. He called over his shoulder. Make sure you remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you guys sorry. Are great at this, but Hold up there, Nor. Uh, uh, <laughs> New Zealander. Nor Zealander? <laughs> Nor Zealander. <laughs> Nor Zealand. Dude, that'd be a great country. My PS part Norwegian. Or Zealand. <laughs> Make so sure we, you remember where you are. People. I expect you back here in three days' time. With that, he left. He left the sobbing blonde in the darkness. <laughs> You'll save after every battle, who you can. He wasn't sure how much time had passed when his tears had finally run out. Oh, had tasted. He's Pasted, huh? yeah. Pasted. <laughs> he wasn't sure how much time had pasted when his tears had finally run out. <laughs> I English for the win. <laughs> I thought this was in English. So did I. So did I. Yeah. Hold on. Just give me, give me two seconds. All right. Uh, he wasn't sure how much time had pasted when his tears had finally run out. At least for the moment, he tried to move, but it caused more pain. Ow! I have to get up. <laughs> he thought, forcing himself to stand, even though his body felt stiff. He felt dirty. I'm if fairly Daddy legal. <laughs> Teddy's gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in heat. <laughs> if that was even a valid feeling, he didn't want to look down on himself, not knowing what he would find. He felt around the dark until he managed to find his clothes and drew some shaky hands. He stumbled around until he was able to find the door and walked numbly through a short way before letting himself outside. He didn't want to look around, didn't want to remember his place. This place, but he had to go. He knew that he had to come back here in order to help Sensei. He bit his lip as he forced himself, his eyes upward. To take a good look around the area, even though it was hard to do so. Once he was sure he would remember his gaze, he was cast down, case downwards. Case downwards. 
<laughs> That's fine. It's way home. Fucking English is hard, man. Especially when you graduate high school. To his luck, there was no one there when he stepped inside. He remembered at that moment that Yosuke was being forced to help out a duet. Every day is great. <laughs> Which was where he himself was supposed to be as well. He shook off that thought as he made his way up the stairs, grabbing his pajamas and a towel before entering the bathroom. His legs gave out, and he landed with a thud on the bathroom floor. Tears started. Tears worked their way out of his eyes, and his body began to shake. He brought his knees to his chest as a weak sob escaped his lips. No, I don't want to cry. He thought, but he was helpless against the war on his body. Still crying, he undressed, finally looked down at his damaged body. He was covered in red and white, like, a, like the flag of, a, of the country he was living in. <laughs> way to be discreet about living in Japan. <laughs> what a way to describe it. Mmm, <laughs> cum and blood, that's how I describe Japan. That That's the only way to describe Japan as the thing. <laughs> Beneath that were places on his skin he was sure he was going to bruise. Though they weren't though there weren't too many of those he was dirty, covered in a mix of his own fluids, and the one of the man he didn't know. There must be a name for people like this. But what did he know? He turned the water hotter than he could take and tried to revive. Revive at least some feelings. I'm burning. <laughs> chapter 3. <sighs> the final Hold chapter. On. Two seconds. <clears throat> he wasn't sure how long he had been in a shower. However, the water had turned ice cold, making him shiver as he stepped out. He looked himself in the mirror out to wipe the steam off as best as he could. While he looked a lot better than he had when he first entered the shower, he didn't feel clean inside. He didn't believe that there was enough soup to handle such a job. What? Soup? Soup? I don't know. I think so. What it says. <laughs> <laughs> what? Say. Chicken noodle, tomato. <laughs> 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 cream of mushroom! I can't get over it. I think he's had enough cream, honestly. <laughs> oh, I can see Teddy just rubbing himself with aluminum cans of soup just to try to make himself feel better after something traumatic happened. Chicken noodle! Someone just walks into his room and he's just pouring like all the soup on top of himself. Dude, Campbell's Teddy is making a wrong. fortune off this teddy bear. Fortune. <laughs> Did I say fortune word? He said fortune. Fortune. <laughs> God. Then took out the tip of his, his old clothes. This one's way weak. Stained with blood. It made him want to scream just looking at the stains as memories flickered into his mind from the night's horrible events. He wasn't sure what to do with the clothes, since it would be dangerous to leave them around in case someone were to buy them. Yosuke comes home like, Teddy! <laughs> Told you not Wait to until do you that! <laughs> <laughs> he dressed himself in his pajamas and walked with me, since walking wasn't all that joyful. Went tot and went to the kitchen. Went tot he kitchen. Went tot he kitchen! <laughs> 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 and grabs some See, after he rubs himself with soup, he gets tater tots and then eats those and then he feels all better. <laughs> and then he kitchens. <laughs> yes, and then he, yeah, he kitchens everywhere. In front of everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna kitchen you. Someone. <laughs> Making his way back to the bathroom, he triple bagged the clothes and depo depo deposited them. The pose of them. God damn, no, it's English it, person! It said deposed. It yeah, deposed, yeah, deposed them. Them. <laughs> I feel rather deposed. <laughs> once, once the job had been taken care of, he went upstairs with the intent of crawling into bed. 
and trying to sleep. But the sound, when the sound of the front door opening reaches ears, just as he entered the room, he poked his head out of the doorway just the as Yosuke reached here. to the top of the stairs. Wait, who's Yosuke? I'll be Yosuke. I can talk to myself. Wait, Alex, Alex can be Yosuke. I can be Yosuke. Okay. You! Well, who are you? You were some sort of supposed to be a genest tonight because you pulled a no, a no show I had to do, do twice the work. Yosuke was standing right in front of him now, and he stepped back to make the room in between them as he tried to think of something to say that would no sound normal, even though he was feeling less than a normal than normal at the moment. I was trying to score a hot stun. <laughs> <laughs> he offered lamely, though it was out of his normal amount of excitement. Luckily for him, Yosuke was too angry at him to notice the difference. Dude, you don't even know what that means! Yusuke, Yusuke yelled, nearly foaming at the lips with annoyance. Whatever, I'm going to bed. With that, Yosuke walked past Teddy and into the room, the bedroom. He loudly got ready for bed before shoving himself under the covers. Teddy stood in the doorway for a few minutes before he followed suit and crawled into bed, softly crying himself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. That was good. That was a good introductory story, guys. Yes. That was the only, that's, that's the end of the story. Times. That's the end of the story. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, this person only uh, only likes to write three chapter stories. Only has enough gain in for one story. Mm. Oh jeez, but oh, Jesus. Uh, who's doing? A, who who wants to take lead on another one? I can do a little uh, a small one. It's just a. Uh, uh, there are no rolls, and it's just utter crack. That's fun. So uh, it's yeah. called Little Known Fact, and it's by Deja Vu, and it's about um, it's a Persona 4 crack fic, apparently, uh, and it tells the story of how uh, Namata Namatame got in, uh, uh, how he wooed Mayumi Yamano, apparently. Okay, so uh, oh, it says, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's rated at M though, so. This world is complete and utter crack, which means don't take it seriously. I will not have it beta or edited, and this is strictly one shot. It's just to it's just to get something out of my head. Oh, okay then. We we yeah we figured out why we're <laughs> writing this shit. Okay, let's what? start. Uh, there are many little known facts about a man known as Taro Namatame, because almost nobody would care enough to give him the time of day. He was a runner. Hey, what's the time of day? Time. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> I just time of the day. Shut up. <laughs> he was a rather average-looking guy at best. Sure, he was a skilled politician. Personality-wise, he was fairly pleasant. <laughs> but that well, only gets a man better. so far when it comes to women. Even his marriage to Anka star Mizuzu Hiragi was arranged, and everyone knew that. This is why his affair with the announcer Mayumi Yamano was such a huge shock. How could lame-faced Namatame hook up with a lovely lady like Yamano? Man, Name old lame-faced Namanama ghost. <laughs> 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 Whatsoever. The relationship started out normally enough, with meetings at several bars. But after one night, when the two decided Mayumi's condo was perfect for a private conversation over some drinks, it really took off. After that, Miss Yamada was swore to herself. She'd never want another man as long as she lived and threw out every toy she owned. Taro Namatame was a sex god. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know from two wow. guys. This is from two guys who don't play the series whatsoever. You're just saying a bunch of Japanese names and then laughing. <laughs> so Basically. that's great. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I like saying Japanese names and laughing too. Tamanamane. Tamanamanamano. Mama Tame. No one, nobody could guess it just by looking at him, but Namatame was a walking Kama Sutra. He had the stamina of a racehorse and could perform nearly any position known to man, including three raunchy enough to stand in at least 15 countries. 
the only other <laughs> I told you this is a crack. And he's 15. <laughs> yes. The only other people who know this are his father's former mistress and a nun living as a hermit in the Himalayas. But that's another story. <laughs> Don't get it wrong. Mayumi honestly loved Namatame for who he was. But the bedroom gymnastics were too good to pass up. She pitted his wife, Mrs. Hiragi, since the singer was cold enough to chill a keg of beer. The missus was one of the f most frigid bitches to ever live. She never even kissed her husband, much less tried to screw him. Secretly, Mayumi was thankful thankful for that and loved every second of it. And that's it. Wow. Holy <laughs> shit. Nom nominate really got Nom it. Yeah. Old lame face <laughs> nom 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 nos. Nom nom I got it. <laughs> Menomina. Oh, Jesus. Do, do, uh -oh. do, do, do. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. If you guys wouldn't mind, the Odin persona. we should do Teddy gets a job with the er, t job at Tim Hortons. At Tim Hortons? Yes. yes. Who's down? Uh, I, I can be Teddy again. Um, Actually, fun fact, I was going to read this to the podcast. But it's an obvious troll, so like we didn't keep it. But, well, yeah. Someone, I'll do narrator. If somebody gets to, to parts. It's got, it's got Yusuke and Teddy. I got Teddy, uh -huh. dude. I got Teddy. There's also a boss. Who wants to be the boss? Who wants to be the boss? Uh, I can be the boss. Right on. Okay, you can be the boss for Yusuke. You have to do your evil Norwegian thingy you do with your growls. Oh, really? Norwegian crowds. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. I want. Uh, actually, one Alex, I want to hear your uh, Nanako impression, like in in the form of when you're reading Cards Against Humanity, you're doing that really high pitched voice. I want. Oh, that's Wesker's voice. Yeah, that's Wesker's oh, voice. Should, should I do oh. that? Should Nanako that be can be. No, that's only Wesker. That's only Wesker. Can be used only for Wesker. But Nanako is Wesker. I'm sorry. Did you say whiskers? Wesker. Only Wesker. 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 Wiskas. Like the cat? A cat? Meow. <laughs> Dude, a cat that can dodge bullets is a cat I don't want. <laughs> I think all the cats are a cat you don't want. You take it out to the barn to put it down, it's like, God damn it, I can't do it! <laughs> He's just fucking dodging bullets, like, what's up, bro? Your mom's like, oh, I know it's hard to put the get- No, uh, no, I seriously can't do it, I can't shoot it. You it's really- <laughs> It's the same cat from Metal Gear Rising, just on the beach. Just, God damn it, <laughs> can't hurt this cat. That is a hand monster. Dead monster. So I'm doing the yeah. Okay. And I'm the boss, and I'm doing yeah, the doing growling too. voice. Okay. Yeah, that's super bossy. Super. <laughs> He's fatigued. <coughs> All right. We ready to start this one? Hell yeah. All right. This one's called Teddy gets a job at Tim Hortons by No Wind for This Hole. No win for this. Starring. Hole. Not at all. <laughs> starring Yusuke. Yosuke. Yosuke. Yosuke, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And Teddy. You're a Missy. You're a Missy. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Alright. Give me, just give me an idea. <laughs> Wait. Next week, should we do Yu Yu Hakusho fanfics? I feel like it would go over most people's heads. Just we could have Randall play the. My head. We could go. We could have Randall play the fighting game. That super good fighting game. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> After the TV mystery had been solved, Teddy wanted to get a job. He had heard of a coffee shop opening down the street, the first Japanese location of the chain which originated a, from a mysterious icy wasteland known to its secluded inhabitants as Canada. Canada. <laughs> Canada. 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 <clears throat> Teddy applied for an interview. Dear Mr. Hortons. Teddy spoke aloud as he wrote. I would like a job. Please give me a job. Thank you for the job. Love, Teddy. XOXOXO. Teddy licked the envelope, which he enjoyed more than he probably should have, 
and threw it happily in a public mailbox along with some porn magazines. But that was just for shits and giggles. <laughs> a few days later, Teddy got a letter back from the owner. Get your smart ass over here. Teddy read. That's all it says. Cool. <laughs> Teddy didn't feel like riding a bike, so he stayed in his bear form and rolled down the street to the Tim Hortons. He caused three <laughs> He caused three <laughs> car accidents. <clears throat> I'm here, Mr. Horton. Oh wait, shit, no. <laughs> Outside Tim Hortons, Teddy realized that he forgot to dress his human body. Too lazy to go back and fix his mistake, he decided that he could do the interview as his own Barry self. He kicked the door in and threw 20 bucks at the cashier for repairs. He waltzed right into the employees only section of the store because he knew he'd be an employee on the way at back. I'm here, Mr. Hortons. Teddy called Eva, er, when he entered the office. First of all, my name's not Tim Hortons, you little shit. Said the boss. boss Cthulhu? <laughs> yes. Really scary. Yes. Said the boss, his back to the door. It's Tim Morton. The apostrophe is there for a reason. Learn your fucking languages. Second, that was the word that Vicky's not ever read. And that big was the one that I got. From the man who held me at night point and demanded all the money from me. That wasn't even an application. But that was me getting much. And that he still did a better job convincing me than you. Tim turned around. No right now that you He started, but stopped when he saw Teddy. What? Oh, you're so adorable. I can't say mad at you. You're hired. Bitchin'. <laughs> Teddy celebrated. Can I do deliveries? Head, neck, and back. What? No, we're a cafe. We don't do deliveries. Teddy thought for a moment. Well, you drink coffee when you're tired, right? What if someone's too tired to drive? What if they're out of coffee? That's where we come in to give it to you. No more false DUI charges. Teddy jumped up. Or Tim jumped up. Teddy, you're a genius. Why, uh, why I could just chuck your dick right here, right now. <laughs> well, I am naked under this thing. Teddy replied. Dude, I'm, dude, I'm a, just joking about what are you getting now? Wow, man, come on. Teddy got his first delivery call that very same day. Teddy. What are you doing at Tim Hortons? Oh. It was Yosuke. Yosuke? Yosuke. <laughs> Yosuke. <laughs> Come on. I got a job. A different one. Huh? What would you like? Yosuke paused. Fucking whatever. Vanilla iced coffee. Teddy got the coffee ready and got in the car. He took off the suit head so he could grip the steering wheel properly. Not that he knew how to drive anyway. He managed to figure it out easily enough, though. The car had XM radio, so he blasted some crunk beats. This killed his concentration <laughs> because yeah, yet more. Side plane in there. What? Oh god, no. No, don't you even mention broken side here. <laughs> I like my cocaine yellow. Can we rock back? What? Your hair's gonna be a long nut. No, no. This killed his concentration, and he caused yet more car accidents in this manner. When he arrived at Yosuke's pad, Teddy put the head back on. He figured it would be good publicity. He knocked on the door. Yosuke opened the door to find Teddy leaning casually on the door frame, one eyebrow raised. Somebody call up for a plumber? He said seductively oh. with an Irish accent. Oh, let me try that again. <laughs> Somebody call for a plumber? That, that's the best you're gonna get out of me. Yosuke tried to be sexy by accepting his coffee with his mouth, but all he did was put the straw out. Or pull the straw out. <laughs> he looked there. He took it the regular way and chugged it. I'm all hyper now. They didn't hear you, fruity man. Teddy said, holding open the suit slightly. 
stimul or stimulating the human body while Teddy's bare body was consciously was conscious would give him two stimulation or simultaneous orgasms and Yusuke knew this. Yusuke jumped in and they did it in the suit. Oh but yeah. That's uh the end. Yeah. That's a good wow. ending, I suppose. Yep. What? That's a good thing. That's the end of that. Yeah. That yeah. was... God. <sighs> okay. This is why we can't have nice things. So, who's got another one? Alright, I've been saving this one. But I think it's time. Is, is there parts? Mm. There is. Is there parts? Alright. Are Post there parts? Dinner. Three parts. Persona 3, I'd just like to read out the, uh... Oh, shit! I just looked at the title. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. So, the description of this one is, Yukari, Junpei, and Akihiko decide to try out some sexual roleplay. No plot, just sex. Rated M for language and sexual content. Guy on guy, guy on girl, guy on guy on girl, whip spanking, <laughs> double penetration, and a whole lot more. <laughs> and a whole this lot more. It's on Akihiko. This... Uh... <laughs> I'm the man! Whoever can do the best Gara impression can do Akihiko. I'll do Gara. I mean, <laughs> I'll Sounds like Gara. I mean, uh, Akihiko. He'll be well, Yukari, I, though. Whoever can do Edward Edward can be Jinpei. Wait. Wait, who's doing who? I'm, I'll do Akihiko. Alright. Who's doing Yukari? I'm, I'm staying out of this one. Uh, Mumpy, you're being uh, Yukari? Yeah, Give Mumpy, me. it's yours, so you gotta be in this. I'll be Junpei, I guess, then. <laughs> oh. Can you give me, like, That's 10 seconds to go get a drink or something? Or? 10 seconds. 10 seconds starting now. God, you guys are laming out. Who's laming out? Gotta, gotta go do this quick and fast. Just like the fanfiction itself. Quick and fast? Actually, oh Jesus, this is pretty long. Oh. How many chapters this is? Oh my god. Three. Wow. Three chapters of butt sex. I can't the other one I have is 10 chapters, though, and all of them are fucking long. Well, I guess I'll do the intro since Mumpy wants to be a pussy and go get a drink. Safety Words Are For Wimps by Bailey Frost Starring Yukari, Junpei, and Akihiko And remember, kids, this is rated M for butt sex and whatnot. It is. It is. Okay, so who's so who's who? Akihiko. Apparently I'm Yukari. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm Yukari. Wait, let me do a girl right voice. Now. Actually, yeah, Akihiko is on screen. You, you can do a girl voice, or you can do a really overly manly voice. Wait, where? For Yukari. Uh. Just have to say it hi to my friend Rockstar in the chat. He's a he's a he's a guy from NZ as well. NZ. <laughs> Z. Oh, also, wait. we're getting uh, we're getting fan requests for uh, fan picks, so yeah, yeah, we'll do that one. We'll do that one, Renzo Kunosai. I can't read your name. I'm far away from the screen. Renzo Kunosai. Yeah. Kunosai. All right, let's get into it. Let's do this. Renzo. Wait, we're gonna need a narrator. Good. What? I have win. like people in this household, so I'd rather not. <laughs> I can do. Uh, I be can completely do honest. The narrator. Where's... Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me, give me ten seconds. You had, you just took ten seconds, motherfucker. I'm fucking. I'm trying to get Brooke in here to narrate it. <clears throat> oh. I'm just trying to put the condom on. He should be. She should be Yukari. <laughs> yeah, but we just okay. made. We just made fun of. Uh, we just made it fun of Kanana Nanada. No, he didn't give a fuck about Canada. Well, Blame I did. Blame Canada. Blame Canada. Canada. No, the best song. I can't find my way out of here. Nada. With all your fluffy Canada. fucking bits. What? To, I can just type, let's go. Canada! That's all. No, how don't. are you doing? I haven't actually checked it how you've been playing. Are you still Tartarison? Yeah. yeah, he's tired. Still Tartarison. He's a Tart? No, that's not great. Did you say a Tart? No, he's tired. Oh. I've been looking for the exit. Have you been fighting every there. enemy you've found? Yep. That's uh, not good. It really isn't. 
Okay, I love how you have to shoot yourself to summon your monster. Yep. No, you evoke. They're not real guns, bro. You. Yeah, bro. You evoke the emotions and the the passion. Yeah, that's how I evoke emotion by shooting myself with a fake gun. Yes. It's called an evoker. Uh. Oh, you fucker. Uh. Just let that person hit me. Dude, in D and D, those slimes are like a challenge rating one four, or one fourth. How are Ooh. you not beating them? Am I not beating them? Yeah. Because he's tired. Yeah. So I've been beating him forever. What? Why'd you restart oh, the game? I didn't. I died. What? Yeah. You. You. That's vestness holds no. Oh wait, no, it's wrong game. Right. Mumpy. I keep, I'm getting my SMTs confused. Well, I'm not. Confused. I'm not tired anymore. I'm just gonna fight until I am tired. You should go and do the boss, though. The boss? I don't know where the fuck that's at. Uh, you just keep have going to go up. up. <laughs> oh, boss! You just keep going up, and then you'll reach the boss. I think it's like I think the first one's floor fifteen. I want to say floor fifteen. No, it's floor floor five. Oh, I think Sorry. the main boss. So fifteen. The tar boxes. the floor bosses are a lot harder than the actual like full yeah, bosses in this game. It's ridiculous. They can be, uh, and uh, even the floor bosses are. They can be. From ridiculously hard or to ridiculously, ridiculously easy. easy. Yeah. There is that one boss that I like. There, well, there's a few bosses where I swear you need one very specific persona for in this game that uh, I don't like it. There are a few times in this game where I felt like if I didn't have a very certain persona, I couldn't beat it. You can in comparison usually to beat them. You can usually beat them, but if you have a specific persona or a specific skill, you can beat them much earlier than you normally be able to. Yeah. Also, I well, would I like to. Oh. Oh, um, Beard, if those if those bosses are birds, equip your bow. They are weak to pierce. Oh, and I do have a bow. Thank. Can I you, you to change equipment one. mid battle? No, that's why I told him to change equipment. Oh. Nah. Well, they are indeed birds. Yes. All right. It looks Venus like eagles or whatever. Gonna come, so let's uh, let's, let's go. What? You say you're gonna come? <laughs> Dude, we didn't even start reading yet. What the fuck is wrong with you? Brook is, is not going to and come to heal the full before to you read. heal before you so. uh, fight the boss. All right. Uh, we'll, someone will be the narrator. I. <clears throat> no, no, I guess I can do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Use Yukari to heal, that is. Who's Yukari? I, wanna... I can't I'm remember. Yukari. All right, who's Junpei? Just go oh, back and then equip it and. Wait. Uh, oh, there we go. Who's Junpei? I will. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and okay. all right. Uh. By the way, anybody who's listening, if you want us to read a fanfic that you found and you like, just send it to Randall on chat and we will we'll read it. We'll read it in our sexiest voice for you. Mm. Oh, 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 just for you. Just for you. We'll even put you in the story. <laughs> okay, Why we want people use to medicine. Stay. What, Randall? Why? You use medicine. You can heal. use two car. You can use two car to heal. you the entire time. Yeah. We're gonna watch him be lame and fail while we read these. Oh, I'll let you tell me that. You're not tired now. You're fucking you? with it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's do this. All right. Just use the normal attack. Yeah. This one is huge, so. That's what she said. Oh. Uh. Uh. I'm right. knocking these fuckers down, though. Who's, uh, I, I guess I can write. Oh, you bastard. Obviously, I don't own these characters, otherwise, Persona 3 would be one giant porno. I like it. I like the sound of it. Make it happen. Somebody. Yukaris? Seriously? God damn it. What is going on? Who's opening it's Chris, something? Chris. <laughs> Did you buy a bow in real life? <laughs> I couldn't help it. There was some sticky stuff, and then some. It was papery, and. Oh god, whoa! Okay. I do a TMI. Oh, hold on. Fanfic. 
becoming reality. I just this one's three chapters long. All right, well let's just let's just read it. Okay, <laughs> let's just do one. Yeah, we'll That'll just do fine. one chapter. That sounds good. All right. Yukari walked into her room wearing the high-cut armor they found in Tartarus a long time ago. The red leather was wrapped tight, was tightly wrapped around her body, showing off all her curves. Her room was tidy and smelled faintly perfume, perfume, and at least half of the stuff in it was pink, including a large bed that the two boys were sitting on. They were staring at her wide-eyed with amazement, their mouths gaping open a little. Okay, she said, pulling out pulling out a leather whip from one of the drawers on her desk. Are you ready? Wow, how convenient. <laughs> Hell yes! Junpei cried eagerly. Akihiko said nothing. He was too busy making sure no drawl escaped from his mouth. This ain't the beef ball, Akihiko. <laughs> <laughs> Yukari cracked the whip once across the floor. Safety word is persona, she said. Safety words are for whims. <laughs> Chumpei responded cockily. There was a moment of silence and then Yuk Yukari barked. Take off your tops! Neither boy responded, they just continued to stare. Now! She added with a stomp of her foot. They both jumped at the sudden aggression and started obeying. Akihiko slid his vest off and then looked awkwardly over at Junpei to make sure he was taking his clothes off too. They both fumbled at the buttons on their shirts, slowly undoing them all and taking their shirts off. Junpei was wearing a black singlet underneath, which he discard quickly discarded. Yukari smiled. Nice. She stepped towards them to get a better look at their bodies. Play with your nipples. <laughs> Hesitantly, they raised their hands to their nipples and gently rubbed them while Yukari watched. Rafa, she said. Yukari started rubbing faster. I, uh, sorry, Akihiko started rubbing faster while Junpei pinched his left nipple a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Oh shit, this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> no! Yukari said angrily, angrily. Like this! She stepped forward and put her hands on Akihiko's well defined chest. Pushing him back on the bed, she climbed on top of him and straddled his waist. She could feel his growing arousal between, his le between her legs, pushing against her pussy. She ran her hands over his abs up to his nipples and began twisting them viciously. <laughs> Akihiko whimpered a little at the pain. Akihiko fucking whimper! <laughs> Shut your mouth! She spat. Real men don't cry. Akihiko tightened his mouth to stop himself from making noise. <laughs> <laughs> he grimaced as Yukari continued to squeeze and twist his delicate nipples until they were red and hard. Your turn, Junpei. She said with a devilish grin. Sit here! She slapped Akihiko's chest with her hand. <laughs> Damn it, so did we do it? Ah. Junpei gulped, unsure of what awaited him. He sat on Akihiko's chest so that he was facing Yukari and bared his chest to her. She's. God damn it, I gotta. I, I seriously, I gotta go, my dad's calling. Jesus. Somebody continue it up. That's lame. I like I heard you, uh. Yeah. Tell him some I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll pause for now. No, no pause, eh? Yes. Immersion breaking experiences. I'm not, I'm, I'm not in a position to continue. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, if you're on all oh, fours, man. you're in a perfect position to continue. No, my body is not ready. I can't get a boner. I can't help this now. It's, <laughs> it's begun. Wow. This is gonna be a fun ride. <laughs> you said it. Uh, <laughs> we should write our own fanfiction as we wait. With the amount of time that Mumpy's taking between each fucking segment, I think we could. Mm -hmm. Well, I am. 
Oh shit, that's right, I should have it bad. I was gonna read Donkey Survivor Ogre Sox, but I haven't gotten far enough to like read anything with note. Donkey don don donkey donkey shane? No, I'm writing I'm a fan fiction called Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh. We were right here. You were away. Oh, okay, so we haven't gone any further? Nope. No. She smiled and thanked him and then lowered her head and attacked his left nipple with her mouth. She licked around the nub and then gently sucked on it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Junpei moaned with a smile. Suddenly, Yukari bit down, causing Junpei to gasp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She trailed her tongue across his chest to the other nipple and did the same to that one, making him gasp again. Gasp. Where's, where's the gasp? Oh. <laughs> 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 is also heavy to seizure. That sounds like it. Yeah. She kissed around his chest and up to his neck when she started sucking and biting hard on his skin, forming a small bruise all over his neck. Junpei moaned again, <laughs> obviously enjoying the treatment. You like that, do ya? Yukari asked, pulling away from his neck and looking him in the eye. Just the one eye, not both of them. <laughs> he, only, he is a Cyclops, isn't he? Yeah, Often yeah. In universe. He took a, he took a hit in the Tartarus and lost an eye. Yeah. Junpei He's nodded. He's boss of the Summer Series. <laughs> <laughs> Junpei nodded and she went to kiss him. Their lips clashed together and they made out Yukari forcing her tongue inside his mouth as they kissed. Yukari ran her hands over his body and down to his waist. She rubbed her hands over his groin and felt his erection. Please! Junpei whis whispered as she continued to palm his erection through his pants. She bit down hard on his lower lip and pulled away. Begging already? You're just as pathetic as this one. Slapping down on Archiego's thigh behind her. Yeah, fucking beat you to it that time, bitch. <laughs> She's bad on Junpei's face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta make it a good. <laughs> Yukari smokes now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> She's just getting that flint from the smoking. Um. <laughs> And threw him aside, off of Okay, I like away. to think this is like Street Fighter style throwing, where like she just like grabs him and just like throws him across the room. <laughs> yes. She was surprisingly strong. Yep, she totally threw him across the room. Yeah. Junpei noted all that archery training had paid off. He guessed. No, I haven't forgot about you. Yukari looked down at Akihiko and smirked. How could I when I can feel your pathetic cock pushing against me? She shoved her hand in between her legs and pushed down hard on Akihiko's groin, crushing his balls and making him groan. <laughs> oh. Jesus. <laughs> You're both as pathetic as each other, she said, looking from Akihiko to Junpei. Double take. She climbed off Akihiko, Akihiko and stepped back, staring down on both of them down. Ten lashes each, I think. That was all the warning she gave before raising her whip and lashing them both across the chest and, their, and legs. Both boys cried out in pain. Maybe it needs a big dirt bottle. Bottle. Junpei was the first bottle? to crash, but crack, which didn't surprise Yukari. <laughs> Yukari ignored him until she was finished with the ten lashes each. She paused for a moment and then said coldly, And an extra five for begging. And whip, whipped Junpei five more times, making him scream even more. <laughs> Both boys whimpered quietly as they rubbed themselves where they had been whipped, but Yuka Yukari noticed that both of them both still had distinct bulges in their pants. So, are you guys enjoying this? 
They both oh, shook their heads just... and mumbled. No! <laughs> Liars. She glared at them. I can see you getting hard every time I hit you. She whipped them both again and smiled at their cries of pain. You bitch! <laughs> so, do you want to get off? She asked mischievously. Neither boy responded. <laughs> she cried as she gave them both another lashing. Yes, oh god, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Junpei blurted out. A wicked smirk cross, spread across UK, Yukari's face. Akiiko Senpai. Ah! Senpai. That's the word of the day! Senpai! <laughs> word ah! of the day! Hey, uh, you said the word of the day! <laughs> no. I just rem rem it reminded me of uh, Pee Wee Herman. Senpai? Senpai. Senpai, Pee Wee Herman, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's Pee the word of the day, Jambu! Pee, -wee Pee Wee Herman Kun, I hope you notice me. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry, I, got, I gotta do that again. I gotta do that again because I just read the argument. Akihiko Senpai. She said in a deceptively sweet tone. Get on the floor in front of him and pull down his pants. Akihiko admitted the immediately obeyed, sitting back up and getting off the bed. He kneeled on the ground in front of Junpei and undid the button on his pants. He started to unzip his fly but found himself getting whipped across the back. He winced and turned around to look at Yukari. With your mouth. She was dead serious. How many Akihiko. times am I gonna have to give somebody a blowjob in these things? Quite a bit. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Not enough though. Keep sucking, man. You chose the character. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Akihiko frowned but did what he was told. He lowered his head towards Junpei's crotch, grabbed the zipper with his teeth, and slowly pulled it down. Revealing Junpei's satin red boxes underneath. <laughs> nice choice, I guess. <laughs> That's what you're into. He moved his mouth to the waistband of the trousers and tugged on them. Junpei pushed his ass up off the bed so that Akihiko could pull them down easily. Once he had gotten the pants all the way down to Junpei's ankle, he turned around to Yukari for his next instruction. Although he already had a sinking feeling about what she was going to say. Good. Now kiss his dick. <laughs> okay, he go turn back to Junpei and they exchange the look. Ah, oh, god damn it! Get another call. Oh! Add that, add them, and then just start continue reading. What? Them out. They kicked them out. No, he's he's alive. He, oh. he has another. He, he got a call. Again. The call to go to the bathroom and jerk it? I guess. Call of the boner. Well, I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I haven't been since we started. <clears throat> oh, damn. You want me to just take over as narrator? I'm back, I'm back. Oh, never mind. There we go. Okay, uh. Kiss his dick. Oh, Akihiko turned back. Akihiko turned back to Junpei and they exchanged a look. Akihiko frowned. But Junpei nodded slightly in assurance. The blonde moved his head towards the younger boy's bulge and lowered his mouth onto it. Oh and my god, and I'm a fucking pedophile! This is fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> you just keep getting He planted better. a small kiss on the outline of his shaft and then went to pull away, but Yukari grabbed his head from behind and pushed his face all the way in. Slobber on that bone, Yukari laughed as she. <laughs> As she smothered his face into Junpei's groin, Akihiko opened his mouth and put his tongue to work, licking every part of Junpei's package. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He could smell the freak Junpei's cock, but also the dirty red musk, as if Junpei hadn't changed his underwear in weeks. <laughs> dirty, dirty man. When she pulled his head away, there was a string of saliva from Akihiko's mouth and a large wet patch on Junpei's boxes. God damn it. Now take his underwear off. You carry said, letting go of Akihiko's head. Twitch. What? I'm gonna get banned, with banned from Twitch with all this gayness.
<laughs> this is a pretty great. Fuck you. This is some Fifty Shades Wait. of Grey level shit with Yaoi on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing what we love, damn it. <laughs> no, Velvet Blue, you should have been here last week. I was Wesker gobbling on some William Birkin dick. <laughs> I okay. wish I was there last week then. <laughs> yeah, dude, you should. Wow. <laughs> Don't worry, I think next week. Well, we need to come up with a theme for next week. Marvel. Yeah. Marvel? Oh, yeah, Marvel! We pushed back Marvel. That's right, next week is Marvel week. So be back for that. Yep. Okay, anyway. These people will be like, not percent of Don't come back. Um, Akihiko once again took a hold of the waistband with his teeth and pulled them down to Junpei's ankle. ankles. It was easier than the trousers. And they were smaller. Trousers. As they were smaller, and Akihiko had a better idea of how to do it. A highly embarrassing skill that he was sure he would never tell anybody about. Oh, he! All I the bitches are going to find out about this. <laughs> there it is. Yukari said, glee gleefully, yeah. looking at the now fully exposed erection. Oh, yeah. Boing. Junpei's cock was long, thick, and twitching with desire. He had big hairy balls that hung low. <laughs> <laughs> from all this gay, gay oh god! And a large, and a large black bush that had obviously never seen a pierce. <laughs> it's a jungle down there. It's a jungle <laughs> out there. <laughs> Poison in the very oh, come you breathe. <laughs> you know what's in that juice that you're drinking? What did I do? And it's from my sack. <laughs> That was beautiful. When, when does your album come out? Uh, next week. Oh, okay. What the fuck you just said? I skipped all of the dialogue. Yukari pushed Akihiko to the side and stood in front of Junpei. She cupped his ball sack in her hand and squeezed it tightly, letting his testicles slide around in her fingers. A small groan escaped his mouth. As he squeezed harder. Uh. <laughs> As she squeezed harder and began to knead his balls with her hands. Mm, please, more. <laughs> Junpei moaned as he lay back on the bed, his eyes closed, arms behind his legs, and um, arms behind his legs. <laughs> Jesus, arms behind his head, legs wide spread. <laughs> what did I say about begging? Yukari stopped playing with his balls and shot Junpei a dirty look. She looked over at Akihiko, who was still on the floor watching Yukari. Watching, Yukari couldn't tell whether the eye, the look in his eyes was excitement or fear. Probably Shit. both. So Get many up. obligations in this game. <laughs> Akihiko nodded and stood up. He moved towards the couple on the bed and Yukari turned away from Junpei to face him instead. She rubbed her hands over his thick legs and began kissing him. Junpei moaned in the background as she ran her hands over Akihiko's big bubble butt. <laughs> <laughs> How did she know? <laughs> bubble buddy. Yeah, my butt is bubble buddy. Around to his bubble bubble keys. Funny muffler. <laughs> she ran his direction through his pants and he moaned as he he moaned a little at the sensation. Suddenly, she grabbed the waistband of his pants and pulled them down along with his underwear. Make him shut up, she smiled at Akihi and Akihiko nodded in response. Oh. He climbed on the bed and moved towards Junpei, kneeling beside his head. Junpei looked at Yukari, horrified, and shook his head. Ah, uh, hell no. Okay, no. <laughs> no, wait. Hang out, Kenji. Yukari just smiled at him and started playing with his balls again. Do what I say and I'll give you what you want. Junpei contemplated everything for a moment, grimaced and then nodded. He turned his head to the side. <laughs> so that he was face <laughs> So that he was facing Akihiko. Akihiko's gen gen genitals were the polar opposite of his own. His penis was about the same length, but not as thick. He had small tight balls and neatly trimmed blonde pubic hair. Are we about to sword fight? <laughs> Wait what? Did we about to sword fight? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, play Duel of Fates. <laughs> 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 
That would be so great. Oh, wait. Oh, he's gonna play it. <laughs> Alright. You're spelling. You're, you're spelling. Duel of Fates dubstep. It's duel. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Fuck it. Apparently, Why? other people misspelled that as well. <clears throat> Alright, let's just keep reading. Okay. Junpei swallowed hard and then opened his mouth slightly. I could go put one on the top of Junpei's head and the other one was dick and guided it towards Junpei's mouth. He pushed against Junpei's lip and Junpei closed his eyes and opened his mouth further, allowing Akihiko to push the head of into his mouth. The dark-haired boy tried to relax as he felt his senpai's cock snake its way deeper into his mouth and towards his throat. He didn't really know what he was doing, but he took a wild guess, wrapping his lips tightly around the shaft and lapping up and down with his tongue. Akihiko moaned and started rocking his hips back and forth, moving his dick in and out of Junpei's mouth. <laughs> Yukari watched with delight a sick smile of satisfaction spread wide across her face. As promised, she wrapped her hands around Junpei's shaft and slowly began to stroke it. For a minute or two, the only sound was that of Akihiko's faint moaning. <laughs> And the wet, sucky noise of Junpei's mouth as Akihiko's cock went in and out. <laughs> Can't unhear. <laughs> Yukari was steadily increasing the speed of her hand job, trying to bring Junpei as close to the edge as possible. She could feel him getting even harder in her grasp. You little faggot! She said, sucking dick makes you hard, doesn't it? Junpei just whimpered in response as he couldn't form words. <laughs> with the other dick pushing it out. We <laughs> suddenly sort of like. <laughs> you carry the go of his cock and grabbed his leg. She pulled him closer to the edge of the bed with one swift tug, forcing you Aki Akihiko to adjust his position so that he could still access Junpei's mouth. Really I don't know where this is going. Very pedophilic. Lift your legs, she commanded, resuming her work with her hand. He does as, did as instructed, did as instructed, and raises his legs in the air, exposing his ass and letting his balls hang freely. Those big balls, man, they hang everywhere. With her free hand, Yukari ran her fingers down one side. I can't like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> Just one fucking crab swinging on him side to side. <laughs> For some reason, he's holding a sledgehammer. <laughs> Licking it. Katie, lick me! Persona 3, too. 2014. <laughs> So you dancing all night. Fingers, you carry around your fingers down one of his hairy legs toward the ch towards the cheeks of his ass. She spanked it hard once and squeezed it and then moved her hands towards his crack. She worked her finger through the thick tuft of black hair. He doesn't bleach. Surrounding his hole and gently poked at the entrance. He started moaning in protest. But she ignored him and slowly slid her whole index finger into her, into his anus. Why am I the one with a finger and a fucking ass? <laughs> no, don't, don't. I'm, I'm, dude, did you fucking clean that shit before I got in? <laughs> <laughs> Another minute passed with you carry Jack and Junpei off with one hand and penetrate him with the other while he sucked on Akihiko's dick. <laughs> you carry since Junpei's climax coming out, coming. Coming from the way his cock and ass were twitching, so she sped up her pa sped up the pace and brought him to an orgasm. He moaned loudly <laughs> into the dick in his mouth as he shot a thick load, <laughs> and as he shot a thick load over Yukari's hand and and his own stomach. Yukari let go of Junpei's wilting dick 
wilting penis and wiped the semen off your hand onto his body. She pulled the, pain, the finger out of his ass and held it out to Akihiko, who was watching. No! <laughs> <laughs> who was watching her? Taste. She said, No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Akihiko moved his head towards her hand, opened his mouth, and sucked on her finger for a few seconds. Enjoy. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Enjoying the flavor. What the fuck? This is not what I wanted! This is so messed up. Social link up. <laughs> link up! How's the blowjob? She asked when he was done. Good! Akihiko responded, looking back down at Junpei, who was still hard at work on his cop. You haven't come yet, Yukari said, a bit disappointed. Perhaps he needs more incentive. She reached for her desk, fumbled around in the drawer for a bit, and then produced a large, black, strap-on dildo, and condom. Oh god! <laughs> Akihiko stared at the monster in her hand with, with a look of horror, but Yukari comforted him by saying, Don't worry, it's not for you. Oh fuck. <laughs> Her hand with the look of oh sorry. She opened the condom wrapper, slid the condom on the dildo, and then strapped it onto herself. When it was attached properly, she positioned the cock on Junpei's crack. Relax. Would have only heard more. Yukari instructed as the head of the dildo popped inside his tight ring of muscle. But I pulled from there. <laughs> oh, <damn it>. <laughs> Junpei groaned. <laughs> around Akihiko's dick as the dildo was slowly pushed further and further into him. He tried to relax as open as, and open his ass like Yukari said, but it was difficult. As his instinct was telling him to clench up tight and not let anything in. Shit's meant to come out of there, not go in. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Nye the science guy. <laughs> Just the little fact of the day. Shit's meant to come out of there, not go in. <laughs> <laughs> you Bill with Bill, no! <laughs> yeah. Oh god. The dildo was only halfway in and Junpei already felt his ass was on fire. It wasn't as thick as Junpei himself, but it was still big enough to tear up his virgin ass like this. <laughs> Once it was about three quarters buried in his ass, Yukari started to rock back and forth. After a while, Junpei became used to the feeling and began to relax. Allowing, allowing the fake cock to slide in and out more easily. He was so preoccupied with the dildo in his ass that he forgot all about Akihiko and suddenly remembered again when he felt his cock push against the back of his throat. He gagged at the breaker. <laughs> he gagged at the sensation and coughed up saliva all over Akihiko's dick. He started sucking on oh, yeah. his he started sucking on the penis in his mouth again while Yukari continued to assault his ass. <laughs> he had never been more humiliated in his life, stuffed in both holes. Dude, you still got a hole in the deck. You better worry about that. <laughs> Velvet Blue! And no one ate dinner that night. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> wait, I... If you can hear the music in, on the stream, it's perfect. the situation oh god I just had to listen okay um, <clears throat> okay uh, here we go eventually Akihiko moaned that he was going to come and pulled his dick out of Junpei's mouth he rubbed it up and down a few times in his with his hand and then shot a logo all over Junpei's face with elicited which elicited a cheer from Yukari Junpei looked at a little sandy Aki Akihiko and felt a bit bad realizing they were caught up in the heat of the moment he instantly regretted what he had done as well, when Yukari ordered him to clean it up with his tongue. He reluctantly bent down and looked across Junpei's face until all the semen was gone. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yukari dildo out of Junpei's mouth and undid the straps and threw it to the side. Junpei let out a sigh of relief. Both boys lay down next to each other, spread out, and were about to relax when, she, when they were lashed once more by Yukari and her whip. 
What do you think you're doing? She barked. This isn't over until I say so. Now sit up and start kissing each other. Dude, your dick was in their mouth. Do not kick the kiss in. <laughs> no <laughs> ass to mouth. If she, if she sucked you, do, if d just don't kiss her for like two days. <laughs> Reluctantly, the boys sat back up and faced each other as they smiled awkwardly at one another. And then Junpei moved in to kiss Akihiko. Whoa, they bitch. Opened <laughs> they opened their mouths. You got shit, And they explore each other's mouths. Junpei could taste his own cum on Akihiko's tongue. Mm. Good. Yukari smiled. That's hot. <laughs> she dropped her whip and... Whip Is it Bell? <laughs> no, not really. Yeah. <gasps> She dropped the whip and started to undress herself. She pulled the skin-tight armor off and let it drop to the ground. Then stepped out of her boots, she ran her hands over her body, kneading her breasts briefly with both hands before moving one down between her legs. Her pussy was pink and wet. With no hair in sight, she traced her middle finger up and down her slit and then slowly began rubbing her clitoris as she watched the two boys make out. My clitoris! <laughs> I hope you guys have seen it. Yes. Yeah, it's... I have no clue. Here we go, these 50 shades of grey. <coughs> okay. Bite each other. How she hard does that run? The boys did what they nom, did. Nom nom nom. <laughs> bite on each other's legs. This is better than that. You carry was getting table. more and more turned on, and so were the guys as they were both hard again. Yukari walked past them and climbed onto the bed. She lay down next to them, spread her legs, and continued touching herself. Moaning slightly as she did so, the boys couldn't help but wander their eyes from each other to the dominatrix seductive masturbation. <laughs> Do you want a taste? Yukari asked Akihiko, spreading her lips apart with her index and middle finger, exposing her vagina which was wide on it which was wide open, begging for some attention. Akihiko didn't didn't need to ask, be asked twice. First, you first, mean? you guys need to know that I am always down to go down. That's Akihiko's <laughs> style, man. He's always down to eat the pink. <laughs> well, you know what he, you know what he says. I've been waiting for this when all the personas are, or when all the shadows are knocked down. <laughs> yep. God. I've been <laughs> waiting for this. <laughs> there you go. He immediately let go of Junpei and repositioned himself in front of her in between her screwed legs. He dove in head first, licking her slit up and down, tasting every inch of her beautiful pussy. He kissed her clitoris and swirled his tongue around it, causing the burnet to squeal a little bit of excitement. As Akihiko continued to eat her out what hungrily, the fuck, you hungrily. a nipple? <laughs> <laughs> you can't play with your voice and moaned loudly at the assault. What am- oh, sorry, that's something. Damn. What am <laughs> I meant to do? Wash? Junpei complained. <laughs> Eat his ass. <laughs> oh. Yukari commanded in between moans of as Akihiko thrust his tongue into her. What? Junpei asked, disgusted. No way. If you wanna fuck me, do as I say. <laughs> There's so, so much more to this. That was all the incentive. How does this go them. on for three chapters? I don't know. I, I kind of don't want to know. Oh, oh you God. Now. This is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> what are you talking about, Alex? I hear the fucking fap noise that... <laughs> <in the background. laughs> you know you like it. <laughs> that was all the incentive Junpei needed. He crawled behind Akihiko, who was bent over nearly between Yukari's legs. His head buried in her snatch. Junpei placed his hands on the on the bear ass before him and spread the cheeks. Did somebody Akihiko's. say bear? Jesus, he's having an at school. What the fuck, fuck off, Denny. <laughs> okay. God, Wrong game, motherfucker. Revealing Akihiko's tight, hairless butthole. He moved his face closer towards the other boy's ass until his nose and mouth were just centimeters away from the hole. It smelled clean, and Junpei was thankful that Akihiko took such good care of his body. He shuddered at the idea of having to, <laughs> having to eat out his own stink hole. Junpei poked at Akihiko's entrance with his tongue, 
getting his first taste of an older boy's ass. It didn't taste as sweet as he imagined Yukari's pussy would, but it wasn't bad. He pried at the tight hole, trying to get his tongue inside and taste further. Akihigo was obviously enjoying Junpei's work as he went as he let out a small moan when Shikari fell to her vagina. <laughs> Telekinesis. So is, that, so is that like uh, <laughs> It's like dubstep waves. <laughs> <laughs> her orgasm was swelling inside her and she couldn't wait any longer. So she ordered Junpei and Akihiko to get some condoms from her desk. Akihiko didn't waste any time. Gotta have production. Yes. Of course. I mean, you know, when you've been whipped, fucking anally yeah. raped, still gotta have that protection. Mm-hmm. She even put a freaking condom on the fucking dildo. Yeah, that's. She was like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Akihiko didn't waste any time. He quickly slid a condom onto his dick and then climbed on top of Yukari. They stared at each other's eyes for a moment and then he went in for a long, rough kiss. Yukari reached down, took a hold of his hot cock, and directed it straight into her vagina. Akihiko took it over, took over from here. He moved his hips back and forth, completely engulfing his member in Yukari's hot hole. With each thrust, they both moaned loudly as they fucked passionately. Make noises. Alright, ladies, now you know how it sounds. If you're a virgin, that's what sex sounds like. <laughs> sounds of, sound of Just realize your character runs with his hands in his pockets. It's some kind of retard. <laughs> no, uh, you, you can you can make him run with his hands outside of his pockets as well. See, there you go. Okay, uh, anyway. Um, Carry on. <laughs> uh, the noise is coming from the screwing couple was too much for Junpei. He was rock hard and needed release. He grabbed one of the condoms, opened it, and threw it on his dick. He kneeled behind Aki. Just, <laughs> like magnets. Just sort of threw it up in the air and it landed on his dick. That's <laughs> did like a backflip, like magic halfway. <laughs> <laughs> there was some intense Japanese music playing in the background as well. You know the if if you played Saints Row the Third like that like soda commercial in the beginning it was kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Um. With two of his wet fingers with the saliva. Oh. He kneeled behind Akihiko with two of his fingers with the saliva and jammed them up the boxer's ass. Akihiko Linus let out a cry, loud cries. Jumpy roughly finger fucked his tight hole. Once Akihiko's ass had been stretched out enough, Junpei removed his fingers and positioned his cock at the now slightly gaped entrance. He thrust it coarsely into Akihiko and let out a piercing cry. <laughs> he could feel his ass literally being stretched out. Junpei's fat cock pounded. Although literally, I can feel it being Not stretched. Figuratively. <laughs> Not figuratively. Although literally, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> The three of them collapsed on top- oh wait, sorry. The three of them stayed in their position, fucking each other hard for a couple minutes. Yukari reached down to her clit and quickly, ru- quickly rubbed herself, sending herself into an orgasm. Okay, Hiko wasn't far behind as the double sensation on his cock and ass drove him over the edge. He came into Yukari- no, he didn't need a condom on. <laughs> um, <laughs> he came into Yukari with a loud moan, his sphincter tied Maybe the condom's wrapped. name is Yukari. Maybe. <laughs> His sphincter tightened around the jump around Junpei's release, which was all Junpei needed to climax himself. He let out a long groan as he came inside Akihiko. Oh fuck! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that was really bad timing to drop my drink. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought yeah I thought you were. Oh fuck! Yeah, I thought you uh yeah <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> that was perfect timing, actually. I don't know Every- what you're talking about. Oh god, he's tripping on me now. <laughs> <laughs> Senpai, please. <laughs> oh god. God. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna 
Greg! Hold on, give me two seconds. Lick it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do do as your character does. Lick it all. <laughs> Dude, I'm not licking anything off my disc. I'm horrified right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> he let out a long groan as he came inside. <laughs> okay, here you go. Okay. The three of them collapsed on top of each other, panting heavily. They had for a few minutes to recover and then eventually climbed off each other. Hang on. Junpei grabbed Yukari by the arm. I still didn't get to fuck you, I still don't get to fuck you. <laughs> he said with the primal hunger in the both his voice and eyes. He pulled her towards him, and she climbed onto his lap, using the same condom that had been in. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the same condom that had been up Archiego's ass. He thrust into a still weak cunt and started fucking her. He was thicker than there. Then their senpai, so Yukari's hole was still tighter around his cock. The burnet girl reached down and rubbed her clit as she rode Junpei's dick. Akihiko was far, far too exhausted to move, so he just watched and listened to the loud gas coming from Yukari and Junpei. <laughs> That's good for my asthma. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Junpei's moaning got louder and louder, and he came for the third time tonight into Yukari. <laughs> he was surprised he still had anything left. Once he had shot his last, the last of his seed, he noticed that his cock was starting to get sore. But Yukari kept riding him until she too reached an orgasm. Her cunt clutching around a still hard cock as she came with a scream of relief. Yukari fell off Junpei and lay in between him and Akihiko. They lay silently as in their own cum and sweat as they tried to catch their breath. It seemed like hours. Finally, Yukari spoke. We didn't need the safety word. I told you. Junpei responded, still panting. Safety words are for wimps. He was still panting a bit like, safety words for wimps. <laughs> <laughs> Yukari chuckled. Next time, I'll make you use it. Next time. Okay, on on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Akihiko asked with one eyebrow raised. Of course, Yukari smiled, reaching out with both uh, both arms and hugging the bo both the boys. Next time, Junpei said, a huge grin spreading across his face. I, I get to be in charge. Yukari and Akihiko gulped in fear. Dun dun dun! The end. Social link up. Because no, no more chapters of that. Yeah. No more. Okay. Yeah. I feel filthy. Clap, clap. That wonderful performance from everybody. I put a finger on an asshole, Dino. I'm filthy, how I feel. <laughs> okay, I think we, uh, you guys want to do a couple more and then, uh, call it, call it quits with the fanfics for tonight? Sure. Alright, let's... How you doing in the personas? Let's see. Are you with Todai? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's take uh, a couple of these, uh, requests. That's, uh, yeah. subjective. Randall, mind, uh, sending us the requests? Sending you the requests? Yeah. In the chat. Mumpy chat. Mumpy! <laughs> Wild duck burger. Mumpy, Mumpy send us... Mm. Uh, I'm getting there! Mumpy okay, time. we're gonna go with... <clears throat> the first one. It's, uh, minted. It's not gonna let me do it. Okay, it's gonna be too Squeak. Oh, damn it, I just opened what the one. What do you mean by, uh... What? The, uh, the... What I can see is the first one, by, uh, Renzo Kosei. Koen... 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 You gonna stumble a little bit more with that one? Cook. <laughs> Renzo Zaku... Uh, Kukabara... Renzo Kunsei! <laughs> you got the good eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously a play on Renzo Kuken by uh, Final Fantasy Eight. Oh, it's obviously. Okay, I think yeah. I'm gonna sit this one out. <laughs> Why? Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I thought somebody from chat with a mic come up in this bitch. Yeah. Anybody in chat want to join yeah. in this fun? 
<laughs> I think you can join us up here in the lay of, in the, the lovely recording studio. In this lovely Skype recording studio. Why are there, why are there chains on the walls? <laughs> shh, shh, shh. They don't know yet. Renzo Kuonse. Renzo Kuonse. Kuonse. Okay. Renzo Kuonse. Renzo Kuonse. Renzo Kuonse. I just realized something. Yes. What? We're missing a certain feng shui. Ah, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, man, if feng was here, he'd I'd totally, totally be down for digging the dick. <laughs> <laughs> man. If feng was here, he'd gobble yeah, the dick. I have his phone number, and I don't have a phone to call him. So. Ah, feels bad, man. Alright, so, uh, I think I'll just do this one alone. How about that, guys? Sure. All right. <clears throat> this one is I need called. To recover from the last one. This one is called Yowie Persona by Paper Fox Nineteen. <clears throat> Warning. Oh, hold on, yeah. Hold on, hold on, what hold on, the hold on, fucking on. hell? Sorry, uh, we didn't give a shout out to Bailey Frost who wrote the last one. No, we did. I did. Okay. Yeah. Remember, because you kept taking ten seconds. Butt plug. Or was I the butt plug? I can't remember. No, you were the one that got butt plug. No. Everybody got butt plug. <laughs> Everyone did at the end of the day. <laughs> somebody got a dildo in their ass and somebody got a dick in their ass. That was so, me. Yeah. I got the dick in my ass. Okay. Forgot I clenched my butthole on someone's dick, so. I want to be my dick in yeah. my ass. All right. It happens. All right, so Paper Fox 19. Uh, <clears throat> oh, we're going down in viewers steadily. Rated M for... Uh, language, I'm assuming, and it's humor. The protagonist is uh, Yusuke. You're Mishi. Yosuke. 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 I keep having trouble with that fucking name. Do not read if you do not like Yaoi. That's the tagline. Oh, I guess we should oh. read it. <laughs> yeah, you can read it. Okay, chapter one, The Arrival. You said goodbye to his friends at his old I school, arrived. and he was hoping to live with Dojima. 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 Doji. You said it right the first time. Okay. Was Dojima. Up the second wow. Time. Such language. He had never <laughs> met him, but he was told he was a good man. Narukami. Kami. Narukami. <laughs> fuck. Narukami. Narukami took a train. And was slowly drifting in and out of consciousness. In a flash, he appeared in the mysterious room and was charging with the task. Was charged with the task. Make and strengthen the bonds. You will grow strong. The words bolted Narukami awake, and he shivered. The train arrived, and Narukami got off, and <clears throat> and was greeted by a handsome older man. There was a shy girl hiding between his legs. <laughs> penis. Oh, look at you! Better than he, <laughs> better than the photos. Are you flirting with me? Narukami asked, and Dojima paused for a second and did a quick check out <laughs> out of Narukami. And the young man noticed the faint smirk on the man's lips. <laughs> I'm Dojima. <laughs> the one who is going to be taking care of you. Hideo Dojima. <laughs> Dojima reached out his <laughs> right Rathenjao, his hand, and Narukami took it. I'm you, Narukami. Nice to meet you. There was a pulse oh, of energy as they shook hands. This is my daughter, Nanako. <laughs> Nanako. The girl stepped out from between him and gave a bow before sneaking back behind him. She's shy. Nanaka pouted and smacked her father's ass. Ouch. Haha. -ha. Oh, so this is about to be some insect shit. Dojima felt bad that his sister and Narukami's dad were such workaholics. It must be hard for you to come to the countryside. Not really, I'm used to it. Well, it's not hard for him to come. They had to stop at the gas station to fill up the tank. 
the attendant came over and got <laughs> really f- <laughs> got really friendly with Narukami. <laughs> He's cute. He thought, and they started chatting about nothing in particular, and they ended up shaking hands. We are hiring part-time here. High school students are more than welcome. I'll think about it. Narukami got a sudden headache and flinched from the attendant. Nanako came out of the station, and the attendant turned away and walked off to finish his task. You okay? I'm fine, thank you, he said. And he looked at the attendant, but the boy had vanished. Weird. You, Nanako, let's go. Dojima said they got in the car, said they got in the car and went to the house. Narukami would be staying in and would be calling home. That night, Narukami woke up in a full world or in a world full of mist. You want to know the truth? Narukami stood up. If so, then try to catch me. He began to search for the source of the voice. Well done. Narukami turned and saw a shadowy figure in the mist. You didn't know why, but he knew this person was a threat. He felt a pulse, and a sword appeared in his hand. He slashed at the figure, but nothing seemed to affect him. Oh please, you cannot defeat me alone. Shadows whipped around Narukami, and his sword vanished. You can't even see through the fog. You are in over your head. The shadows began to strip off you of his clothing. You gasped as his clothing began to disintegrate in a matter of seconds he was stripped naked and his soft five inch cock became exposed hmm not bad maybe I'll see you again if you survive long enough Narukami shot up awake his head was fuzzy oh yeah I'm staying at my uncle's place I wonder what that was to be continued that was lame that was pretty fucking oh. lame hold on I, I've just been reading through the, the uh, second part of that there's my a second one? part? Yeah, there's three chapters in my one. And yours? Of that fucking one we just read before this one. Oh no. Oh god, <laughs> it no. It gets worse. It gets so worse. Without warning, jump so let out a <laughs> He grabbed... <laughs> you can't he even finish the, the word. <laughs> and threw him onto the bed on his back. He squatted over his head and slowly lowered his ass down towards Akihiko. Aki tried to move out of the way, but Junpei pinned him down with his fat ass and rubbed it all over his face. Yukari sat on the end of it and watched, thankful it wasn't her being sub- subjected to the te- to teenager's ass. Without warning, Junpei let out a long, loud part on the other boy's face. That must have been the spicy ramen I had today. Jesus. What? Oh, God! Oh, God. So wrong. How many viewers have watched this so far? Eight. Or like something. Something out. Alright. All the viewers oh have died, God. probably. Okay, so we got no, time we, for. We have a solid eight. We got a time solid. for one more. This, uh. Shirashkulagumi. Can you read that one for me? Nope. Shirasagi Miko. Yeah, that one. I think she or he or she put up a link. Put up a link. Oh, yeah, I, I found it. Posted in the chat. I finally got bees. Wow. Oh god. It has a it has a My Little Pony avatar. It must be bad. Oh fuck! It's a, it's a crossover between. Oh my god. Is it a crossover? Oh, yes. it is. we're doing a crossover. Oh, this for is, fuck's sake! Oh god! Look at that author name. This is gonna be great. Shit, Dick <laughs> the pigs this hog. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Shadick, but Shadick is funnier. <laughs> Shadick. <laughs> it's like a sassy black Shadik. woman. Shadik. Name. Stop, it's your girl Shadick. <laughs> <clears throat> Anybody want to do the introduction to this one? I can read uh, in a very quiet voice. Oh, oh, I do, do that. I do not own Persona or MLP Friendship is Magic. Mm. In this story, I'll be using the name of my protagonist that I gave him in the game, which is Light Dragon. This is only going to have him in from the Persona lot in this story, and this story is mostly going to be in his path. 
but this time he'll not be using his persona Izanagi that much as he will be gaining a new type of power in a later chapter and this story is right at the end of the ending in Persona 4. I have only seen the bad ending where the fog is still in his world. And this is after the good ending so it's starting with the protagonist on the train ride back home. Jesus. Chapter 1. A New Adventure. Uh... Am I also narrating? Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> you read. Alex, uh... All right. I can do uh, I, I can narration. Wait, like, who are I, the I characters? Alice needs more parts. That. Okay, who wants to do, or who wants to be protagonist, and who wants to be Twilight Sparkle? <laughs> I'll do Twilight <laughs> Sparkle. Oh, later. please, Alex, you're my hero. Thank you. <laughs> uh, how is, uh, what kind of voice should I give her that? Have you ever heard her real voice? No. <laughs> oh, it's, it's bad. Okay. <laughs> how what? Uh, I'll, um, I'll, 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 I guess yeah. this is from a first person. Per yeah, this is first person, so I guess I'll be the narrator. That also makes me the main character. Okay. Uh, who? Uh, you can be uh, either one. Then. So I should have a light voice. Uh, give Let's her a really that. manly Norwegian sound, like super Norwegian voice. Okay, so Norwegian accent. <laughs> Please as well? just do the Wesker voice. <coughs> should I do the Wesker voice? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll do the Wesker voice. <laughs> As I looked out the window of the train to see my friends waving, I felt a tear go down my face. Then, there was a flash of light and I was back in the velvet room with Igor and Margaret. Igor <laughs> chuckled at my confusion and said to me... Hmm? You keep going. You keep going. And <laughs> said to me... <laughs> oh, Igor. Igor. Wait. And then to me... Igor chuckled at my confusion. Oh, <clears throat> I guess I'm Igor. I Igor chuckled at... I'll see that you've fulfilled your destiny, but sometimes, when one adventure ends, another begins. What? I asked What before. is this? It would seem you have another destiny f to fulfill, but, in your world, you won't be able to do it. Igor said back to me. Another destiny? I asked Igor. Margaret then said to me. Oh, we got a Margaret in here. Randall, be Margaret. Um, Margaret? Margaret. Margaret. I... I can't... What you said to me? It would seem that you are meant... Oh god, that English. You are meant to meet another being, but in her world and stop... It, fuck! <laughs> and it and stop an old evil from bringing eternal night to her world. Eternal night. This is... This is the worst. Wow. English. Igor then said to me... Once you awake, you'll find yourself in her world. You must find the one who goes by the name of Twilight. But how will I find her? I asked Igor. That I'll leave up to you. Now it's time to wake up. Igor said to me as my vision started to blur. When I woke up, I was in a room with white walls, a massive gold door, and few massive windows. One of them was open, letting the sunlight shine down on me. Holy shit, that English. I said as I got to my feet, God damn it, you know, that's the headboard ass. <laughs> God damn it, all the heck. I then found myself being held up to the wall by some kind of unknown force and heard a female voice say, Female voice. Heard. Yeah. Who is this? Super female yeah. Norwegian voice. Come down! <laughs> like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Repeat what you know what this stretcher can do? A hero face right outside! You gotta move your mic away from your face when you do that. <laughs> no. As I felt the force that was holding me to the wall, all all a male voice said, <laughs> Yes, princess! Yeah. Oh, okay, that works too. <laughs> That's better. As I once again got to my feet and looked to where the female voice came from and saw a pure white alicorn with this color's mane and tail was wearing a gold tiara yeah, collar and one. horseshoes. I also saw the one look like a sun on both sides of her flanks. There was only <laughs> one thing on my mind, where the hell was I? When the white alicorn said to me, freaking me out a bit. I'm, I'm Princess Celestia! Who are you and what are you? My... My name is Light Dragon. Everybody's dressed differently now. I know it's now. an old name, and I'm a human. 
I said back to this princess Celestia. <laughs> wearing loafers. Are you a man? But those are just a myth. But it would seem humans are no, no longer a myth. Princess Celestia said back to me. Um, where am I? I asked Princess Celestia. You are in Cantalot, the city, the capital city of Equestria. So many bad puns. Next wow. time on another adventure. Hi, I'm yes. Pinkie Pie. Jesus. Yeah, I'm. I'm, uh, I'm uh, done with this. Yeah, this I'm burnt. Game. Nope, burnt out on that one. All right. Uh, God, I feel like we're gonna end this on a lame note, but. Perso Persona fan fiction as a whole is fairly lame. All right. Well. This, too, this, this is too much. All right, well, uh... Okay, I'll do the uh, the outro. Uh, the struggle is real. Uh, all right, well, before you do the outro, uh, next week's going to be uh, Marvel Week, so if you're into Marvel and watching Spider-Man get butt-fucked by the Hulk, return. Gonna happen, so. We're going to have uh, Randall play Marvel vs. Capcom. Jesus, I'm terrible at fighting games. Yep. <laughs> Except for against you. Uh, Rosin, what was I'll the take that challenge, uh, motherfucker. Series? What was the name of what? Your YouTube series that you're doing in Persona right now? Oh, my podcast. Oh, um, yeah, I have uh, uh, Megami Plug Tensei, shit, which man. is the franchise Personas, and uh, Cathedral of Shadows is the name of it. Look it up, you'll find it. Yeah. Alright, um, um, yeah, pretty, anybody pretty swell. Wanna... Anybody else want to plug their shit? Uh, I guess I'll plug mine YouTube like youtube.com forward slash I think uh, enough things have been plugged <laughs> <laughs> hey -oh. uh yeah uh, forward slash youtube.com forward slash mumpy boys boys with a iz at the end uh, you can find many different let's plays um a few rage quits all that kind of shit uh you can also follow mumpy me on twitter Tuesday at Tuesday <laughs> You can also follow me on Twitter at Mumpy Beer. Uh, yeah. And uh, eventually, me and Bow to the Beard here are going to be doing our own podcast called Beard Power Pizza Hour. <laughs> so expected me to be I love it. You better, better love me on that shit. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll find out when that's going to be up and running. We'll tell you during What's one of these. What's it going to be about? It's going to. Guess by the name. Beard power, beard power, uh, pizza and video games, ripping, ripping mainly on you guys. No, uh, <laughs> uh, it's just gonna be about pretty much everything and related to beards and everything related to everything. Well, our pod, our, our podcast, yes, our podcast will shout out your podcast. Don't worry. Podcast. And our podcast will shout out your podcast. Okay. The Cathedral of Pizza. The Cathedral of Pizza. Yes. Yeah, Give me that. Beard Our power shadows baby. hour. All right. Who well, smashed something wanna, in the back. Anyone else want to plug this shit before I outro us? No, I think uh, with that, uh, Mumpy. When this hits YouTube, all like the links will be down below, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Links okay. will be in the description, all that sort of shit. All right. So, uh, all right. Mumpy, cue that outro. Thank you for joining us on tonight's special edition of Fanfic Fridays. Tonight has been Persona. I hope you enjoyed. I hope there's come all over everything. <laughs> if you don't have a butt plug up your asshole, you're not doing it right. Make sure to join us next week for Fanfic Marvel. I need a free.